Amen. No matter how far you may think God is, He's always right beside us. Amen. Amen. We're going to call on two of Brother Archibald's son, and we're going to ask you kindly to please pick him up for me and just bring him up here in this chair, please. The two strongest one. Can you bring your daddy up here for me, please? Bless the Lord. And if, uh, no, 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 if the, if the girls want to join in and show us their muscles, of course you can join in too and help pick up your daddy and bring him up here because we are honoring him this morning. And that's why I read that scripture this morning because the Bible says, honor your mother and your father that your days may be long. And that with a promise once you honor them. Amen. And so we are honoring him this morning for the good work he has done in the kingdom of God. Amen. And while they take the time and bring him up, I just want to say how grateful I am that Brother Proctor Archibald has been inspirational in my life. I can remember there were times when I was down and out and he would call or he would send a message and say, Brother Dave, I am holding you up in prayer. And so this morning, I also am holding you up in prayer, Brother Archibald, that God will deliver you. Amen. Huh? One of the scriptures that I'll always hear him repeat over and over every time I go and visit him, he will say that the Lord promised to restore him. Amen. And so therefore, I stand with you this morning that God is going to restore you. Amen? Amen. And you know, sometimes we say, well, why is it God taking so long? 
But I just want to tell you this morning that your time is not God's time. And God's time is not your time. Amen? And so therefore, we know that he is able to deliver our brother this morning. Amen? Hallelujah. And so we are just going to appreciate you this morning, Brother Archibald, for all the good works you have done in the kingdom of God. And you know, just last a couple of weeks ago, we were celebrating Mother Hazel's birthday as well. And one of the things that we talk about is how she trained up her children in the house of God. You know, and I don't see any difference with Brother Archibald. Because I can remember as a young boy coming here, you would see all his children in the house of God. Now the Bible tells us that we must chain up the child in the way he should go. And when he's old, he'll not depart from it. And even though some of them may not be here this morning, the fact is that he already trained them. He already told them about the word of God. That's the most we can do. We can only tell our children about God. We can't compel them. We can't force them. You know, because when they grow up, they'll have a mind of their own and they make their own decision. But the fact is that he already told you about God. And so therefore, his blood is not on your shoulders because he makes sure that he trained you up the way you are to go. Amen? Amen? And so we are happy for you this morning. This morning. Are we going to sing this song? We haven't sung it for a while. You are not a God alone. Hallelujah. Bless the Lord. Let us all stand. You are not a God created by human hands. You are not a God dependent on any mortal man, you are not a God in need of anything we can give by your plan. That's just the way it is. Say you are not a God. You are not a God created by human hands. You are not a God dependent on any mortal man. You are not a God in need. Of anything we can give by your plan, that's just the way it is. Come on, let's say you are not a God. Oh, you are not a God created by human hands. You are not a God dependent on any mortal man. You are not a God in need of anything we can give by your plan. That's just the way it is. Oh, you are not out of love from before time began. You are on your throne. You are God alone from before time began. You are God alone. You are God alone. You are the only God. You're the only God whose power God can contain. You're the only God whose name and praise will never end. You're the only God who's worthy of everything we can give. You are God, and that's just the way.
and he is on the throne this morning hallelujah he is worthy to be praised you may be seated for a minute hallelujah and you know we always give the flowers while they are alive you know um brother Archibald probably know me all my life as a matter of fact when I started coming here as a little boy you know he always have kind words to say and one of the things I think the reason why we got so close it wasn't because I you know came to God but of course that has a part to do with it but I can remember one time I went to visit him and he and I was talking we were talking about fishing and he said he could remember one time he went fishing. I don't know if he went fishing with one of his sons or whatever. I think it was one of his sons. I can't remember which one it was. And the engine cut out. And one of them, okay, he said the two of them. One of them either swam shore and got some gas from somebody. Right? And while he, would deal, while he was saying his, you know, giving me his story, I was listening attentively. And he said, I don't remember if he swam ashore and he got the gas from somebody or somebody came with a boat and gave him the gas. And Brother Archibald said to that person, um, I'm going to get the gas back to you. Right? I'm going to give you back your gas. But the person said in return, you don't have to give me back the gas because all of us are fishermen. And maybe one day I might be sure that I need some gas and you might be the only one to help me as well. It so happened that while he was telling me, he, say, he said, anyway, Dave, um, who you, where are you from? So I told him, Newtown. He said, who's your father? I said, Kenneth. He opened his mouth. And he, said, he said, Kenneth is your father? I said, yeah. And he started to shed some tears. And I couldn't understand why he started to shed tears. He said, brother Dave, the story was that your father was the one who rescued us this, this morning. He said he didn't have to do it. He didn't have to do it. And because of that, Brother Archibald felt like he had adopted me as his son. He was so glad that I had given my life to Christ. And this happened some years after. And I say this to say this because you never know who you're going to meet stranded. Always give a helping hand. And he wasn't looking for money because Brother Archibald offered to pay him for the gas. But he tell him no. You know, and there's so many stories every time I go to visit him. Sometimes I'm afraid to go and visit him and all. Because everybody knows that Brother Archibald is a talking Bible you know, I can remember going there and I say, Brother Archibald, I got to go. I got to go, Brother Archibald. And he said, Brother Dave, wait one more thing. I want to encourage you. I want to tell you this. You know, and when Paul was going around um, encouraging the young disciples, I look at myself as a young disciple being encouraged by Brother Archibald. You know, and he always said that, Brother Dave, always trying to encourage someone. Always trying to encourage someone. They're not going to always take what you say, but encourage them anyway. You know, and because of that, I can remember the good things that Brother Archibald has done. You know, there are so many things I can say. I can remember when Brother Archibald used to play the guitar. And that was one of my favorite instruments. And coming from Newtown, you know, coming from Newtown, of course, man, everybody loves to jam. We just love to party. You know, and when you see Brother Archibald start to ring that guitar for the Lord, believe me, it's like a party in the house of God. You know, I don't know if he can pull strings now, but I'm sure he can pull them in his mind. But we want to thank God for him this morning anyway, because God has allowed him to live this long. You know, when so many people had write him off and thought he would have been long gone, God still have him here, and he have him here for a purpose. And his purpose is to continue to share the word of God with all of us this morning. Amen? Amen. Now, I want us to turn in our songbook. For those of you who have it, 
I asked him this morning to make sure to look for this song for me. And he said, glory to his name. I know this was one of Brother Archibald loving songs that he really dearly loved. His song number 107 says, down at the cross where my Savior died. Down where from cleansing from sin I cried. There to my heart was the blood applied. Glory to his name. If you have your songbooks in 107. Amen. Let us all stand. Hallelujah. And sing unto the voice of the Lord this morning. Down at the cross where my Savior died. Down where from cleansing from sin I cried. There to my heart was the blood applied. Glory to his name. Oh, glory to his name. Glory to his name. There to my heart was the blood applied.
the Lord. Well, you know, we cannot honor our elder without hearing his voice. But Brother Archibald, Brother Dave is telling you, don't stay too long. Amen. Love you, brother, and we're going to hear from our brother. Hallelujah. Praise God. This morning, I just want to give great thanks because a few weeks ago, I was home laying down. I said, Lord, the 28th of February is my birthday. We met me 75, and I want to be in the house of the Lord to give him thanks. And this morning, I'm here. I want to bless, praise God. This morning, I want to bless Sister Hazel, who is a great inspiration inspiration to me. Pastor Lincoln Hazel, he's the one who led me to Christ. He and Brother Ralph. And so this morning, I am not ashamed to give God thanks. I'm not ashamed to be in the house of God because I was in St. Thomas and I saw this young lady, Daisy Archibald, for the first time. I heard a voice said to me, she will be your wife. Something came out of her, out of her eyes, like a laser beam, right in my spirit, right? And I didn't see her again for a long time. And when I met her again, some months after, I told her, a voice said to me, you will be my wife. She said to me, boy, you do not even know me. How could I be your wife? I said, I don't know, but I believe what I heard. <laughs> and today, Daisy and I have been married for 50 years. <laughs> Bless God. You see, Sister Hell, God don't make a mistake. He knew that I would not get sick, right? And I would need someone by my side. And he put Daisy in my path. And she never wanted to say, you're sick now and I'm going. Every day of my life, she would say, Lloyd, what you want to eat? Sometimes I just said to her, you're the chef. What are you cook are going to eat? And so this morning, I'm here in the house of God. When Pastor Lincoln came by me, he and Brother Ralph, and they shared Jesus with me. They asked me if I would like to give my life to Jesus. I said, yes. Both of them put their hands on my shoulder. And they prayed for me. And they led me to Christ. I received Jesus in 1975. Oh, glory be to God. And today, some almost 50 years later, I'm still serving God. I mean, I've seen so many people came in the church. They stay a little while and then they walk out. But you see, when God really call you, you got to answer to the call of God. 
and do what God tells you to do. You see, I want to bless Sister Head because she was such an inspiration to me. Sister Dawn, she was such an encouraging young woman. How much does Sister Watley? I mean, when I look to see how the saints of God rally around me and Daisy and they help us to get married because Pastor Hill said to me, that Pastor Lincoln father, he said to me, Brother Archibald, you and Daisy get, can't live together like this now. You all got to get married. I said, no problem. And the church, hallelujah, God bless their apostolic faith members because they are so faithful. Oh, Jesus. When I look to see how the apostolic faith members rally around us and they help us. Sister Wally daughter, she was the one who made our wedding dress. I went fishing one day and I, I shoot a big cobbler. I sold it to Fort Thomas, right? And that money was 50 to 50. And she told me that is enough to buy the wedding dress. Pastor Hazel, Elton Hazel, Sister Hazel's husband, he's the one who bought me my wedding, my wedding suit. And so this morning, I got to say, God, sister, hey, God bless you. You're going to live a long, prosperous life. Because the word of God said, him that cometh to me, I will know why he's cast out. And so this morning, when I look at sister Hazel, she's, look at young girl, she's 30 years. But you see, the trouble is that when you have love in your heart, the Lord will work with you. Sister Dawn Hazel, God bless her. She was an encourager. I can remember many times when Sister Dawn said to me, Brother Archibald, keep on serving God. And I never want to say, I'm going to walk out the church. Many times I see young people walk in the church. They spend a couple of weeks and then they walk out. But I decide I'm going to serve God. And today, tomorrow is my birthday. Tomorrow make me 75. Hallelujah. <laughs> and I bless God. Because Brother Dave, I used to encourage him. I remember one time we had a baptism here. And Brother Dave jumped in the pool. I never forget that. He went jump in the pool. Whatever was he drop in the pool. He jump in the pool and he take it up. And so what I'm telling you is that the, the people of the apostolic faith church, they are very friendly. Many people say all kind of things. But what I'm saying is that if God is for you, the Bible say, who could be against you? Once you see you tell me to serve God, no devil going to tell you, don't serve God. Because when I look back at my life, 2000, I took sick with a massive stroke. Everybody said he's going to be dead. But where I was from, paralyzed, couldn't move. I heard the Spirit of the Lord said to me, for I will restore health unto you, and I will heal you of your wounds, said the Lord. Then he said, Jeremiah 30, 17. This left side was dead. Couldn't move it. Couldn't move my left hand. And I put my right hand over my left hand. Put my Bible, which was on the bed. I turned and I found the scripture. Jeremiah 30, 17. And today, I'm here because of God's goodness. I'm here because of God's goodness. I mean, a lot of people wouldn't see me in church, but then they know what's going on. When you have a stroke, you could scarcely move. 
But if you're determined, God is going to help you. All right, this, sometime there, a couple of weeks ago, when I said to the Lord, I said, Lord, help me to go to church on my birthday. And I'm here today. And I want to thank you all. All have been praying for me. Continue to pray for me that God will complete this story. Amen. God bless you. Amen, amen, amen. And I believe, and I'm sure you believe, that God is going to restore our brother. Amen? And so without any further ado, we're going to have Sister Archibald. And she's going to come, and she's going to render a song this morning. Amen? Praise the Lord. <laughs> praise the wonderful name of Jesus. We give God thanks and praise this morning. I want to thank him for long life, health, and strength. If it was hard for the Lord on my side this morning, I wouldn't be here today. Um, his birthday is tomorrow, and mine own is Thursday, make me 72. And I pray that the Lord will let me live to see 100. I know that there is a God and there is no one like him in the earth. He's the same yesterday, today, and forever. Praise the name of the Lord. When we walk with the Lord in the light of his word, what a glory he shares on your way while you do his good will. He abide with us still, and with all who will trust and obey, trust and obey, for there is no other way to be happy in Jesus, but to trust and obey, not a shadow can rise. Not a cloud in the sky, but it's my quickly drive it away. Not a doubt nor a fear, not a sign nor a tears, can abide while we trust and obey. Trust and obey, for there's no other way. To be happy in Jesus, but to trust and obey. Not a burden we bear, not a sorrow we share, but it all he does we repay. Not a grief nor a loss, not a firm nor a cross, what is best if we trust and obey? Trust and obey, for there's no other way to be happy in Jesus, but to trust and obey. Then in fellowship, we will say that is. Or we walk by the side in the way. What he said we will do. Where he said we will go. Never fail, only trust and obey. Trust and obey. There is no other way to be happy. Trust and obey. Trust the Lord and obey his word. Amen. Thank you, Sister Archibald.
trust and obey. For there is no other way to be happy in Jesus but to trust and obey. Amen. And this morning I want to really thank the Archibalds for coming on out and supporting your daddy this morning. Come on, let's give them a round of applause for coming this morning. I'm really happy to see all of you, you know, because, uh, you know, Sharon and I, we grew up, like, you know, in youths and everything, and it's, you know, as Brother Archibald say, um, the spirit told him that Daisy going to be his wife. Well, I always thought that Sharon was going to be my wife too, but it didn't happen that way. <laughs> but I can remember, she, every time I come to youths, every time I come to youths, she would always say, Duck mouth. Duck mouth, Dave. Duck mouth. She always said, My mouth looked like a duck. <laughs> but you know, I'm happy that we are serving God this morning. Amen. And the lesson that we learn, we still have it with us today. And so this morning, we're going to pick up our tithes and offering. And we're going to sing this song from the rising of the sun. The name of the Lord must be praised. Amen. Let us all stand. From, from the rising of the sun until the going down of the sea, the name of the Lord is to be praised. From the rising of the sun until the going down of the sea, the name of the Lord is to be praised. From the rising, from the rising of the sun until the going down of the sea, the name of the Lord.
Sister Achibol to bless the offering. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Father and God, we give you thanks. We give you praise. We give you glory and honor. We thank you, dear Lord, Father God, to give us strength and energy, Lord God, to charge, dear Lord, Father God, one more time, dear Lord, Father Jesus. To Lord God, we just want to bless you, Blame. I want to worship you and glorify your name this morning. Our tithes and our offering, dear Lord, Father God. Bless it, dear Lord, Father God. A hundredfold, dear Lord, Father Jesus. Sanctify it with the blood, dear Lord, Father Jesus. I pray this morning, dear Lord, Father God, when they put their hands upon that offering, dear Lord, Father God, it will be really blessed. No man could bless it but you, dear Lord, Father God. And when they take it out of the box, they can say, Wow, it's so much the Lord Thank bless us with this morning. And we give you thanks and we give you praise. For those who go out, Lord God, and bring our tithes and our offer in that box, Lord God, you bless them, dear Lord, Father. A hundredfold for them, dear Lord, Father. And those who not have yes, to give, Lord God. Next week, dear Lord, Father God, they bring $200, $300, because you're going to bless them. I want and bless every one of us this morning, dear Lord God, yeah. who give and who not have to give. In your precious name we pray. Amen and amen. Amen. You may be seated. And just before we hear the word this morning. You know, um, you know, a lot of us think that, oh, you should not say this in church and you should not say that in church. But um, when I walk down town with my children, people just say, yeah, boy, Dave, you stick your face on them children, dear boy. And so I'm going to give you the story behind that. I remember one time I went to Brother Archibald. Let me hear what you're talking. And I said, Brother Archibald, how you get all your children them to look like you? I mean, how you do it? How they get? He laughed. He said, Brother Dave, I wonder if I must tell you. I said, man, tell me, how you get your children look like you? He said, Dave, he said, when you go in unto your wife, look straight in her face. And all of them going to look just like you. <laughs> but Archibald, I want to thank you this morning for your wise words. Because I don't have to say anything. People say it. All of them look like me. <laughs> you know, sometimes, sometimes the mommy gets a little jealous. And they say, yes, none of them look like you. All oh, they look like the daddy. But I thank God this morning for your kind words this morning. Amen. And I'm so happy to see my good friend, Tanisia. It's a blessing to see you. Amen. You know, and I want you all to put your hands together for her. Come on, put your hands together for Tanisio. Yes. And the reason why I say that, because she's a proud product of apostolic faith youths. Because she graduated with honors being a nurse today. Amen. So when... So when Sister Archibald can give you the injection, you call Tunisia, and she can give you the injection. Amen? Because she's a qualified nurse this morning. Amen? And that's why, you see, we try to tell our children about God, because we know when we tell them about God, they're going to be prosperous. They're going to be the head and not the tail. They shall be above and not beneath. Amen? And she started out of the nurse, of course. But I, I see her in a few years wearing the brown belt. 
And the brown belt is one of those high people because God promised us we shall be the head. Amen? And I declare that you'll be the head one day. Amen? Bless the name of Jesus. And so, as the pastor get himself together to give us the word this morning, we're going to sing this song. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run in and they are saved. Let us all stand. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous are the way to win. And they are saved. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous are the way to win. And they are saved. Blessed be the name, blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Yes, I. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord. The name of the Lord, the name of the Lord, I shall tower the righteous are to me. They are the name of the Lord, I shall tower the righteous are Blessed be the name, blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Yes, I. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord.
blessed be the name of the Lord. It's a blessing to be in the house of God. I say thanks to all who came this morning to make this service a success. I think I glimpsed the Amen. 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 I think I see Sister James, Esther James in the back. Thank you. I wanted to play with my mic. Amen. And uh, we thank you for coming. I also want to thank all of you, all of us here this morning. Amen. How we thank the Archibald family my brother and sister Archibald. Amen. Amen. Brother Archibald said, before he was saved, God was taking care of him, and God chose him before his long, long before married. Uh, God saved me, Mike, because this is going on. Long before he got saved, amen. So I would like to let you know that even when you're not saved, God takes care of you. Amen. Amen. Even when you are not saved, God continues to take good care of you. Amen. Today is Brother Archibald's day. We're glad to see him back in church. Not in a box. Amen. But in, 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 in health and strength. Amen. It's a blessing. As I tell you, in this church, we celebrate our people. We celebrate our people. Um, we don't try to wait until they die. Amen. No, we give them their flowers while they are alive. Amen. And if we have to dedicate a whole Sunday service to you, we feel better doing that than having a big, wonderful funeral. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Uh, at this time, before I, I say anything, because I may not say much this morning, because it's my actual birthday, um, we're celebrating his life. Amen. Ah, it's a blessing. Many people say they give him a good send off. But we ain't giving him a good send off, you know. While he's alive, we're going to give him all of his flowers while he's alive. Amen. At this time, we're going to call his entire family up and they're going to come right around him. And we're going to take a photo picture of Brother Archibald's family. It's about 100 people strong. But all is not here. But all who is here, all the children, all the grandchildren, could you come? All of Brother Archibald's children and the grandchildren. But Dave, could you move this out for me a little out of the way so they can don't be blocked up? All the children come. Come, come, come. All the children. All the grandchildren. Amen. Can come, everybody, come, everybody, come, everybody, come. Thank you for coming to church with your daddy. 
Some people and their parents are sick. <laughs> Each side around, some go on one side, some go on the other. Thanks for coming. Thank you. 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 Amen. Who's taking the pictures? Delinda, are you taking some pictures for me? I'm taking the pictures for you. Yes, this is the Archibald's family. Uh, I hope we're getting the whole family on the, have we seen them on the screen, on the, on the website, upstairs? I hope you can't see. You can see everybody upstairs? Okay, upstairs, upstairs, okay. Amen. 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 We thank God, Brother Dave. Brother Dave. Are we going to anoint your family? Please come. Anoint your family. Bless the Lord. This is the Archibald's family. Brother Leroy Archibald, that's the Lord spoke to him long before he met Daisy. First time he saw it, he said, that's your wife. Amen. <laughs> and that's what he's brought, the whole set of family. They have red and white, and we have red on one side, and white on the other side. Amen. Yeah. Or white is the children, and red is the grandchildren, and what, the, what color the great grand has now? Same red. Okay, I just want to learn the thing, I don't know. Amen. Just anoint the whole family. No, don't, don't add those hands. Just anoint them. Amen. Yeah, you anoint them, protecting them from all dangers, seen and unseen. Amen. It's a blessing when we can have family who stick with us all the time. Amen. And Brother Archibald is still alive today because he has loving children and the grandchildren who stayed with him and great-grand who stayed with him no matter what. Amen. To tin and stick. Amen. That's a blessing. Amen. Remind me of Abraham. God said you're going to be a great nation. A great nation. Amen. Amen. At this time, we're going to call on Sister Norma Hazel. 
to pray for them. Pray for the family. I was going to put down, but I said, let mommy pray for the family. This morning, as we see the, the sister Daisy and Brother Archibald's family, you know your church for us, so you all should come to church. Yeah? Please. Precious and eternal God, our Father in heaven, we are glad to know that we are in a place where our children can be trained in the way that they should grow. And when they become old, they will not depart from it. We are glad to have Brother Archibald this morning, yes, who was sick and is still putting his trust, his confidence, and his hope in you. And who knows? If while I am praying, he will not be healed in Jesus' name. Be healed from the top of your head to the sole of your feet in Jesus' name. And the children will be drawn to you to serve you in spirit and in truth and in the very beauty of holiness, patronizing their daddy who never be give up Yes, come what may, he willing to hold fast to that which he has and never to let them slip. Young people like to slip, but God is underneath you to raise you up again to serve him in spirit and in truth and in the very beautifulness. God bless you all and help you all to run and not be weary, to walk and not faint in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Are we going to have a song by the, the family? church we just want to say um thank you for having us here um as we celebrate the y archibald 75th birthday tomorrow um he has come thus far by faith it's because of god's mercies that's why he's here today and uh, life is to be celebrated while we are on earth but bearing in mind that we have an eternal home that we are going to, that we will be celebrated forever. So we just want to give thanks to God for his life, and we're just going to sing this chorus, Thank You, Lord. <coughs> Thank you.
Amen. Amen. Somebody wanted to sing a song. Which one of you sing? Oh, the chicken. So we're going to sing the first verse and the chorus of goodness of God. If you guys could just assist us with the words on the screen so they can follow. The good goodness of God. I love you, Lord, though your mercy never fails me, and all my days I've been held in your hands. From the moment that I wake up until I lay my head, oh, I will sing of the goodness. Of God. All my life. And all my life you have been faithful. All my life you've been so good. And all my life you have been so, so good. With every breath that I am able. With every breath that I am able. Oh, I will sing of the goodness of God. family a loud round of applause as they come back to their seats <coughs> hallelujah celebrate life. Amen. They got people who will never miss a funeral. They love to go to a funeral big time. I don't like funerals. I hate it. 
I don't like funerals at all. I love this. Amen? Amen. I could forget the funeral, but I can't forget this. Amen? Because this is life. When you can sit down and listen to what people have to say about you. Amen. I want to leave some space for three persons to just say something on behalf of Brother Archibald. Just three for now. <clears throat> three of the persons who know him well and would like in a body day then say a lot already. So three different body day. <coughs> if you can find three. Bless God. Thank you, Jesus. You know, this is what I love. I love to be able to look back and celebrate with people their achievement. I really, really just love to look after people. Whatever she have, she share with you. And I'm glad because I have gotten a little bit of some of what she had. I love looking after people. I love making people feel happy with whatever I have. It gives me just a joy. I was saying to someone when my uncle had an uncle by mother's side, I used to go to look for him, and when he passed, I felt a void. There wasn't anybody to, you know, I didn't have him again to look after, to carry something for him. I love doing that, and I'm glad. You know what? I am glad this morning for it brought tears to my eyes when I think of the fact that Sister Archibald has stood by her husband's side. A lot of young married people need to think about this. When you're married, your husband look good and he's strong. He can go out, he can fish, he can bake bread, he can do all sorts of things. And so you feel good. He bringing in money. But when your husband gets sick, what you do? What do you do? You stay by his side, and you love him, and you do what you can. And this is a very, very good example to the others who are married, that you will not just be happy because, oh, he can bring a lot of money, and in the time when he can't bring him any money, you throw him out. You leave him, and you go on to look for somebody else. Sister Archibald has stood by his side, and we want to thank God. And she prayed for him. I remember several times he took him in church. I remember one time when he took him. She said, Lord, not no, not no. And she just poured out her heart before God. And it's her prayer and her love and her looking, her loving care for her husband that has him here today. She pray and we pray along with her, and God is helping him. I want to thank God for her, thank God for him, his spared life, and may God continue to help him and bless him. I also have in my heart a spot for the children. I really, really look to see the children serve God here in fullness. And that would be part of the prayer answered that the children will come and fill up this church where their dad and their mom started. May God bless you and help you. Amen. Bless the Lord. Somebody, anybody else? It's one. Anybody else want to say a word for Brother Archibald? I know we like to come and say, I went to a church where you used to go. <laughs> I don't like those songs. I love to hear people. Brother Archibald, Sister Boone, may God bless and continue to be upon you. I remember the days when you used to join the, the church bus. You was like a father to me and my children. You always even help me to lift up one day when they start sleeping. You're always there and I always think about you. 
Jesus loves you, that's why he has you here still. No matter what, keep on trusting him. Him the pain hit you, I had some pain up to Thursday, and they were crying. And I just they're saying, thank you, Jesus, thank you. Me just when you say thank you, Jesus, and you, and you got the pain, I stayed until the pain just wear right off. You know, so keep on trusting. I'm going to sing this song for you. You was, you was fifteen away, on life passless sea, when the angry wave threatened your ruin to be. Then away by your side, you gladly decide, understand the earth wrestler, and loudly you cry. She far hoy, she far hoy, and loudly you cry. She found for the old sheep of thy and the sailing alone. And all on board the scene so joyful, the heard the sweet song. But the captain kind is ever ready to hear. And he's taught your way of distress as you cried out in fear. She found. Shiva hoy, as you cried out in fear, Shiva hoy. Oh my God. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. The whole sheep of thy own heart sailing along. And the old, yep. oh my God, what are you doing? Well, the good captain commanded a boat to belong. And the old ship of the young, not sailing along. But that you ball, as you keep on saying, she fa hoy, she fa hoy. And the place, she fa hoy. No matter what the circumstances be, but, 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 but actually, but keep on trusting God. Right? Okay, you enjoy your day, and I wish you a happy birthday, and many, many more birthdays to come. Amen. Hallelujah. We have one other, one other person, and that's it. Anybody else want to? I always want to say something, but you want to get up? <laughs> Amen. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord. My beloved brother, I know you've all sent to something. In the 1974, I know this brother. We all got a teach him how to fish. By a boat, and we all used to go we have holidays, and we all were being together, me and this brother here. He was, he was one of the best bakers we had around Chafalgo. Everybody used to so love to eat his bread. He had a good team. But then everything has come to an end, we got to give God the praise and give honor because blessed be the name of Jesus. He's the one who controls and things. But he tell Moses, you know what he tell Moses? Moses got down to Pharaoh. I give you the eyes, don't be afraid. I give you the mouth. And I give you, you hear your mouth and your eyes. God tell him, I'm going to talk, don't fear to talk. God said, Go and talk and they must let the people go. And he always been active for like we had playing instrument and thing. In the short way back in the seventies, we were with the nice, nice, nice good for us chip many us up together. And I know God will bless you and then so many, many more. They just say you want to say a hundred years. <laughs> I do hope that is good is good because you know they land with us. Three is going to number reason of felt, you know, you are now eighty, but it's a pain and sorrow. So when it comes. But it's good that we are put our trust in him, for he cares for us. Trust in the Lord with all our heart and with all our energy, and he will direct our path. May the Lord wish you bless you and give you many more years. I will thank you, brother, for a wonderful time we had together. Everything does have an end. You know that. 
but God never have an end. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Brother Archibald, God love you so much. Amen. The Lord love you. Amen. Yeah, right? Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Sometimes we like to preach, but there's nothing better than to tell somebody that loved. Amen. Amen. Some time ago I preached this message on real love and fake love. And as I think of Brother Archibald and Sister Archibald, I can see real love versus fake love. Amen? Real love versus fake love. Amen. But Archibald got married, he says, over 50 years ago. Father, what? 47. But he's with this lady over 50 years, no problem. 47 years stick together. He has been sick now for 22 years. Am I right? Almost? Is that long? 21? And um, Sister Archibald must be commended for her hard work that she has done to this man. Amen. 21 years unable to provide for himself, unable to help in the home. 21 years practically in his bed, unable to do anything. And Daisy, Sister Daisy Rebecca Archibald, And you wondered sometimes how people get certain names. Amen. Like Rebecca, so is Daisy. Just like how Rebecca, God showed, gave a, uh, Isaac to Rebecca, or Rebecca to Isaac, and uh, Isaac didn't really know Rebecca. Amen. And uh, Isaac just sent his, the servant out to find a wife for Isaac. He, Abraham did that. And the uh, same way, God, he was in St. Thomas not knowing Daisy. Saw her for the first time and say. Wait a moment now. Yeah, wait a moment now. Yeah, right. Okay, we're going to forgive him. We're going to let him go. He's out for too long. But this is what we call real love. Come, now I'm, I'm going to finish up since he's going right now. Then I didn't like, I, I thought he was sitting down for too long. Uh, um, brother, uh, come on. Can we get a wheelchair, please? Yeah, yeah, we got a wheelchair. And the bus. And the bus close here, so you can take him along. Wait, wait a while. Just wait a while. And this is real love. And we see there that 
in John 15, 13 says, greater love has no man than this, than to lay down your life for a friend. This is real love. This is love that lasts even when there was no reason to love. You're not getting anything, but you're just giving love all the time. And because she loved him, why he is alive today. Could you imagine if she hated him? Could you imagine if she had gone with another man and leaving there? He would have grieved to death. 21 years is easy when you're talking. But 21 years, when you're, yeah? 22 years, it is 22, it's 21. But I think it could count. It's not easy when you're not able to, to do anything for the person, whether emotionally, financially, nothing, and that person has to give you everything, give you and give you and give you and give you. And I know Sister Archibald, she, went, she never used to work before he got sick much. But from the time he got sick, she knew she had a responsibility and she began to take care of him. Amen. So uh, this is an example to all of us this morning. I wouldn't have to preach all day. This is a good example of a husband and a wife that stick together when things seem to be impossible. Amen. Thank God for his son, so. Now, just before you go, we're going to pray for him. We'll pray for him. Everybody stand. Amen. Everybody stand. Everybody stand. You're going to put this. You're going to go in the bus. The bus could have been Father, in the name of Jesus, we pray for Brother Archibald. We thank you because if you can spare his life to, to, up to today, you can heal his body completely. And but that will believe that you will. And I pray, God, that you'll come and help him. In the name of Jesus, touch with Archibald. Bless him. Make him that person that you want him to be. I hope you have a wonderful birthday. Spare his life. They can see his 75th birthday. And I pray, oh God, that a blessing will come upon him and overtake him. As a church, we thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name. Amen. And before you go, again, before you go, before you go, just turn him around. Just turn him around to me. Just turn him around. And we want to take an offering for him before we go. Um, an offering for him. Would you, everybody come quick, because he has to go home. Everybody come quick. And I don't just need mouth love. I need to put your money where your mouth is. Amen. A lot of people loving with their mouth. Amen. In this church, we don't do with mouth lips. Um, come on, you don't have a foot rest for this? In the bus, bring them? I can't walk without them. The offering is in this box, it's in hand. Everybody come, please, quickly. Everybody, wait, wait, they're coming, they're coming. Everybody help with that, you know. He can't work. He has to.
Whatever we do, we will help to him and his family. Yeah. Amen. Greater love than no man than this. Amen. This is real love. I think one of these days we're going to have a movie on this love story. They have all kind of love story that A, make no sense and make big movies. I think we can have um, somebody coming to find out how we can put this story together. Real love. Serious love. Love that says it's not because you're able to work. <laughs> Amen. 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 Oh, well, we're here getting ready. We're going to leave now. We're going to just close off. And... Um, we're not going to minister anymore. We, this is love, and I think the whole story has been played out already. And, I mean, you don't have to hear me preach again this morning. But but Archibald has spoken already. Amen. Let's all stand. And Wednesday night, Tuesday night, we will be having Bible study. A lot of people are coming out. And I want everybody to come. Come. It's like school. You learn the word of God. Then on Thursday night this week, uh, I'm inviting everyone to go to Sandy Point. We're going to meet in the Sandy Point Church on Thursday night. We're going to have a little meeting. Bring the church up to standard as to where we go. From here, and um, I want every member of the church to come and friends come out and see what we're doing. Amen. It's a Daisy Archibald, a, a lady, she keeps this church clean. Um, sometimes she gets angry and wrecked sometimes, but she still come back and clean it. God is good. Wonderful. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Hallelujah. Um, let's close. Thank you, Father, for the day. Take us to our home in safety. Thank you for touching the actual family that is here with us this morning. Thank you for touching Sister. James is here with us this morning, and all the other persons who are here today who are here for the first time or have been here coming occasionally, we pray a blessing upon their lives. We pray that you'll keep them in your hand, keep them safe. In Jesus' name, amen. And may the grace of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, the love of God, the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit, Rest, remain, and bow with us now and forevermore. Amen. Sister Archibald is going to tell us where the party is going to be and when and how. So, amen. Good afternoon, everyone. Goodbye, love.